In this video, we're going to be talking about vignettes and sharpening within the Enhance application. When we're talking about vignettes, it's mostly going to be the edges of the photograph. So an easy place to start is by looking at some of the presets we have available. So if you want to start looking at what a subtle or a strong vignette looks like, you can select some of those presets. We also have further presets by using the drop down menu. And what I really like about this is as you hover over each one of these, you can get an idea of what each one of those is going to look like through the preview. If you prefer to have manual controls over the vignette, you can use the sliders. So if we come over to the brightness slider, we can see that we can either brighten up the edges of that photograph or darken them on down. You can also change the size of the vignette. So if you want that vignette to be really large and cover most of the photograph, you can do that, or you can minimize that size. The feather helps handle the transition from the dark areas into the light. So if you want that to be more of a harsh contrast, you would move that feather down. If you want that to smooth out a little bit, you'd move that over to the right. And then we also have the roundness, and this is the actual shape of the vignette. So as we move this over left, it's going to create more of a box or a rectangle shape. And as we move it over right, it's going to round out into more of an oval shape. From this drop down, we also have a few different styles available to us, whether we want that to be soft, subtle, or normal. So if we go ahead and click the strong preset, one of the features I really like in the vignette pane is to be able to take the crosshairs and click on this and then drag the vignette around in the photograph. So this further allows you to really hone in and focus the viewer's attention on the specific element that you want within the photograph. Now that we have our vignette dialed in, what I want to show next is sharpening. So let's move down into the sharpening pane. You'll want to have an idea of what medium you're going to export the photograph into for how you want to perform your sharpening because you're going to sharpen in different ways based upon what that medium is. Anytime you're performing sharpening, you want to zoom in fairly tight to the photograph so you can look at whatever you have in focus so that you can see what the sharpening is actually doing within the photograph. So let's take our zoom tool, click on that, and then we can drag over the area that we want to look at specifically. An easy way to get started is to take a look at some of the presets we have available. So we can choose fixed focus, we can do screen, or even print. Further options that we have available for presets are from this drop down. And again, what I really like is as I hover over each one of these, it's going to give me that preview of what that looks like before I choose that. I'm going to choose Print General High, but I can use the sliders for more manual control over the sharpening. So I can choose the amount of sharpening by using this slider, and I can also control the amount of detail that shows up within that photograph through the Detail slider. The Protection slider allows you to protect elements of the photograph that don't need to be sharpened. So the protection is smoothing out the areas of low contrast where you don't have a lot of color or tone changes. This helps create smart sharpening only where you need it of those areas of high contrast. Further, you can protect certain areas of the photograph. So if you want to protect the darks, lights, or even skin color, you have that option available rather than just using the general protection slider. We also have in this drop down here various methods of sharpening, whether you want to run more of a high pass filter or an unsharp mask. Most people are going to use the progressive and that's going to work great for general sharpening. But for people that want to get a little more specific with their sharpening, they can use this option here.